washing the lift away. Rain is washing the lift away. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvino Volume 1 palette. And I'm going to be doing the first look with this. And this is how the palette looks. Now I'm going to be swatching them for you real quick before we get into the tutorial. And I must say that these colors are so pigmented and very vibrant. And I'm not disappointed at all with these palettes. Like Anastasia Beverly Hills never disappoints me. And the pigment is always there. And these are the purple schemes. So I would say that I do like this one out of the three. Even though I haven't did makeup tutorials using the other two, I will be doing some in the future. But with this palette, I really love purples. That's that's first things first. <laughs> I love purple. And I say that these are so good. Like when I apply them onto my eyes and the way they blend, the way they mesh together, the way they show up on the eyes is exactly what it looks like in the pan. It doesn't change. It doesn't. Uh, get muddy when you blend them together and with this palette. It's not just all purples They have some some bronzy shimmers some uh, yellow some blues and a black shadow Which is really really nice and a white shadow and is very pigmented as you saw So this palette is is a little like, you know all over but it's supposed to be a purple theme But um, some of them I, I don't see what the purpose was it like these colors that I showed you but with the other shades I definitely definitely love you can get away with doing a purple smoky eye or a bronzy look or a very bright look like blues some oranges and stuff like that so yeah this is how it looks after swatching everything and it do have some kickback and a little bit of fallout nothing drastic Okay, let's get right into the tutorial. I'm going to start off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Primer and I am going to apply that all over the lid under my brow and making sure that it's blended very well because it does set. So you want to be careful when you're applying this primer. Now I'm going to start off with the first shade which is the deepest purple in the palette and this is the shade B4. And I love the whole organization of the shadows like it goes by A1, A2, A3, A4, A5 and same thing with the alphabet and the numbers from 1 through 5. I think that it's a better format than just naming each shadow. Can you imagine Norvina sitting there naming each shadow um, for all three palettes of the volume palette so that would be crazy but I like this system I like the way she set it up and I like the way this is set with like numbers and by letters okay and now I'm moving on to the next shade and I'm gonna be going in with the pink shade that's in the palette this is B1 and I'm going over the B color like the dark purple because I want to do a transition from purple to pink and I also wipe off any of the lid shade like whatever the shadow got on the lid I want to wipe it off so I can have a blank canvas to work on the lid shade it's gonna be intense because it's something that I don't normally do but I wanted to try it out it's like cutting the crease and then cutting the crease again but on the lid if that makes sense so I'm going to cut the crease with the Anastasia Beverly Hills primer you can use whatever brush that you're comfortable with I would prefer to use a concealer brush like a flat one Then I'm going to take the white shade in the palette, it's called C1. I'm going to apply that into where like the top where the, I cut my crease at and I'm going to use a very little shade of brush and I'm going to just do a line, not a perfect line but like just following that line where I cut the crease. And then we're going to cut the, the part again. There goes oh hi <laughs> she's my baby I love her so 
all right back to the tutorial now i'm going to cut that area again so it's like a, another crease that's being cut and i'm going to then go in with the shimmer shade in the palette this is b3 and i'm going to take a small concealer brush very very small so these brushes that i'm going to be using are pretty small because of my eye shape and just having to be detailed with it and then i'm going to take the pink shade a5 and i'm going to tap that right into the middle but also merging it with the b3 shade and then i'm going to go in with the purple shade i don't remember what color this is it could be a2 or b4 one of those two no it can't be b4 because it's on the light purple side so I, I really don't remember i'm so sorry guys i think it could be b5 i'm not sure but it's one of those purples it's been a while <laughs> since i've looked at this footage but yeah so i'm gonna go in with a little bit of liner and then i'm going to merge the black and the purple with the purple to that pink and making sure that it is blended very very well now i'm gonna go in with some mascara and some false lashes and the lashes that i'm gonna be using for this look is by shop mimi artistry in the style Gianna or Gianna. i i say Gianna. so i'm going to pop those on and move on to the face Okay, so I'm going to go in with the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and I'm going to use a lot of the brushes from City Color Cosmetics, but with the foundation I'm going to be blending it out with a sponge. And I'm going to color correct my under eye circles and I'm going to apply some concealer from Too Faced. This is the Born This Way Concealer and I'm going to apply a little bit of that and blend it on underneath the eyes and then I'm going to take the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and brighten it up with that and then just blending it out but also letting it sit for a little bit so that it can uh, set a little bit. I am applying a little bit of foundation on the forehead area because I dyed my hair that time and it left me with a dark mark so I wanted to cover it up. And now I'm going to blend out the concealer with the same sponge that I used for the foundation so that it doesn't look two different colors and just blend nicely. Okay back to the eyes. I'm going to go in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in Purple Urkel in the waterline and it's eye safe just like he said so i'm going to apply that underneath and then i'm going in with the shades that i use on the eyelids to then dust them underneath the eye and then that way they all come together Now for the inner tear duct, I'm going in with that white shade and I want to pack it on really, really good so that it's like a punch of white in the inner tear duct and it's a matte finish, which I really like. And then I didn't show it on camera, but I did go in with the City Color Cosmetics Fairy Lights Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow in Realm. For contour, I went in with the Tarte Cosmetics Park Avenue Princess Chisel Palette in Princess Cut. And I went in with the angle brush from City Color Cosmetics to basically contour my face and to bronze up on underneath where the jawline is at and to contour my nose. I make sure to use a different brush for this instead of the original brush that I use from City Color Cosmetics. For blush, I went in with the Alomar Cosmetics Color Blush Trio and I went in with this shade and I am going to apply it onto my cheekbones with the other brush from City Color Cosmetics. And for highlight, I went in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Supreme Frost in Diamond Wet. And I applied it without 
wetting it first but then I'm like okay I, I, I'm gonna try it with a spray and spray the brush to see if it comes out and give me like a pop because it's very glittery so you want to make sure that it sticks onto your face uh, something tacky so I wet the brush and it came out really really nice I went in with the Morphe Brushes Backseat Lip Liner and then for liquid lipstick, I went in with two different lipsticks. I went in with the Girlactic Liquid Lipstick in Stripped and I went in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Pure Hollywood in the center and then I blended it out with my finger. All right, this is the final look to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Volume 1 palette. I hope you like this look. Give it a thumbs up, please. Subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment down below what you think of this look. If you want to see more looks with this palette and the other three, I am coming out with a video very soon with the other two. Follow me on my social media accounts and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.